Hello kiddos, happy Monday. I hope that you had a good weekend. I need everyone's attention today and advisement because I have a couple of really important things to share. Um, I know that you are probably already aware that there was um, a student who brought a weapon to Duluth Middle School on Friday. Nobody was hurt because a brave student reported it and um, the school resource officer and the administration was able to handle it really quickly um, before anything happened, but it is still very, very scary. Um, and I just want to take a moment to talk to you about school safety and some of the decisions that some students have been making in the last couple of weeks since the shooting up at Appalachie High School. I think we are now at 10 students who have been arrested for making threats to school after the Appalachia, Appalachia shooting. Um, some of those threats were just lies. Um, actually, they all were lies on social media, pictures that were altered, schools names just kind of pasted on top of an old picture. Um, but every single one of those instances is very, very scary and is a huge disruption to school, to the community, and frankly, to your feeling of safety. Um, so I wanted to make sure that you understood very clearly that there is no place ever for making threats, posting things online that threaten a school. And certainly, and this should go without saying, but we have to say it, um, bringing any sort of a weapon to any school. 10 student arrests have happened already. At your age, now that you're in high school, these decisions, even if you think they're a joke or they're no big deal, have lifelong consequences because they get you wrapped up in the um, law enforcement system. Um, and at your age, those consequences do not go away. So I just wanna make sure that I tell you that these decisions are never the right decision um, to make threats, fake threats um, against a school or a person will get you in trouble that you will not be able to get yourself out of. And they just create a very terrible feeling among all of us. I love you and I don't want you to feel that way at school. I don't want your teachers to feel that way at school or any staff members to feel that way at school. So please, please, please think long and hard before you ever use social media in that kind of a way and continue to report anything that you see or you hear um, out there in, in the world among your friend groups so that we can make sure that we are always preventing um, anything scary and keeping you and our school safe. That's number one. Number two, our friends at Duluth Middle School right now need some support. What happened on there uh, over there on Friday was very scary. Some of you may have little brothers and sisters over there that came home and told you all about it. So I would like for us to support those kids by writing some handwritten notes to them. And I think what we'll do is we'll have some note cards out in the cafeteria this week so that you can just pick up a note and write, Dear Duluth Middle School student, um, I just want you to know that I'm here and I support you and I don't know, something nice like that so that they know that they're not alone because we're all Duluth. This is our community and we have to take care of one another. So um, be smart. Don't make any bad decisions with your social media accounts and never ever make a threat against a school. Um, it's never funny and it's never okay. And number two, let's support our friends at Duluth Middle School this week. So look out for a table later this week in the cafeteria that will have some notes for you to write. I love you guys. I appreciate you listening, and I hope that you have a wonderful day. I'll see you in the hallways and classrooms. Bye.